Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about the EVPN distributed Anycast gateway. So when we discuss any new technology or any new feature, so first question comes into our mind is why do we need this additional features or this extra technology so let us deep dive into today's session and let us see why do we need this evpn distributed anycast gateway so if you see here in this topology this is the host and this is the prefix this is the same on the both side so both hosts are in the same subnet so in this scenario our normal evvn will work if we initiate the ping from this host 1 towards host 2 so both are in the same subnet so ping should work So first router will generate the ARP request that is bump frame and it will go via the PE1 or PE2 then PE1 will generate that route type and again he will send that bump traffic using the multicast label stores the PE3 and PE4 and it will finally reach that bump traffic will reach finally to the remote host and he will reply with his MAC address and ping will work so if you are not aware about the EVPN technology so I have another video uploaded in YouTube so I'll provide the link below so you can go through it and understand how exactly EVPN scenario works that will help you to understand why we need this EVPN distributed anycast gateway so in this scenario it will work fine because both subnet both are in the same subnet let's say that both are belongs to same customer but scenario may come when we need the inter domain traffic let us say this dc1 belongs to 10100/16 and DC2 belongs to another customer let's say 172.16.0.0 slash 16 so both belongs to different subnet so if you try to initiate ping here so generally what happen host check if this particular subnet belongs to my subnet or not if it is not then simply it is it will discard that packet of frame but we need the reachability for some reason it could be that whatever server we are trying to reach that is in the uh, another subnet or whatever server we are trying to reach out is in another customer location so in that scenario we need to reach out to this 172.16.1.1 so in this scenario we use this evpn distributed anycast gateway so let us see how so first we need to configure the vrf on p1 p2 p3 and p4 and we will configure the BVI under all P P routers and call that BVI under the VRF and the L2 VPN bridge domain. Let us say on P1 and P2 we have configured BVI as a 10101 so it should belong to same subnet and MAC address let's say 12.12.12.12.12 12 12 12 12 12. 
so this IP address and MAC address should be same on both P routers and on P3 and P4 let's say we have configured 172 1.1 so it's belong to this subnet this particular subnet again this MAC and IP address sh should be same on the both routers So once you configure that one, you need to configure this static route on host. On this host, we need to configure this 170.16 slash 16, which will be pointing towards beware IP address. So we have configured this on the uh, DC1 side host. And the DC2 side host, we need to configure 10.1. 10.1.0.0 slash 16 which will point to the BVA IP address that is 172.16.16. So in my blog I have provided all this configuration and verification commands as well. So I will provide the link below. So once we configure this everything then reachability will work between this 10.1.0.1 and 172.16.1.1 and the second scenario is let's say because our intra-domain traffic is going via eVPN so we don't have any issue but let's say customer came tomorrow with the different requirement and he said that okay I need to download some patches on this host or I need internet connectivity for my data center. So in this scenario again we need to follow the, those same steps that we need to configure the VRF, RD, RT those steps and we need to configure BVI, call the VRF under the BVI and call this BVI under the layer 2 VPN bridge domain. But this time it is scenario is different because this side it will be the layer 3 VPN. So we need to configure the VPN V4 address family as well on the both P router so that they can exchange the VPN V4 routes between each other. So we configure VRF on all the P routers P1, P2 and P3. Configure BVI on P2 and P3. So here is normal BVI, uh, sorry, normal VRF that we can say that VRF internet. So we don't need any BVI configuration there. So we have configured the BVI on P1 and P2 that is 10.1.0.1 with the MAC. So that will be similar on P1 and P2 and VRF configuration will be there on P3 but we don't need any BVI there because already that is layer 3 domain. So we need to call that BVI under the layer 2 VPN bridge domain as a routed interface and when we configure the BVI and IP address for that one so we need to configure the VRF as well under that BVI interface. Once we are done with the configuration on P1 and P2 and once we verify that VPN V4 neighborship is up, then we can configure the default gateway or static route on all the host which is pointing towards the BVI. So let us see on the DC1 host we have configured 0 slash 0 pointing towards BVI that is 10.1.0.1. So whenever he generates, so let us see first time whenever he is generating any traffic towards internet. So he will send the ARF request towards the PE. And as this router is designated for order, so he will reply the ARF request with the BVI 
MAC address that 12 12 12 12 MAC address so once the tarp reply reaches to the host so he will install that entry into the arc table and whenever hit, uh, he hits the internet traffic he will use that this particular MAC address as the destination MAC address and he will send that packet towards this BVI interface for the intradomain traffic he will send the traffic directly via the EVPN and it will reach to the intradomain but for interdomain the traffic will go via BVI because he will destination MAC address will always be the BVI MAC address so traffic will hit to BVI from there it will go towards the internet VRF so you can visit my blog for more information I will paste the link below and I hope this video will help you to understand how exactly eVPN distributed any cars gateway works if you have any query related to it one please put in the comment thank you very much